My name is Anna Carter, and I'm the president of Eden Invitation. You know, when I look back on my life, there are so many ways that I see sparks of how God really ignited uh, hope in my life, but also I think ignited what Eden Invitation became. You know, I think I, when I look back on my life, I see a lot of instances where my drive for mission, um, my drive where I feel inclined to give of myself tends to grow from gaps that I see. Like it tends to grow out of needs that I see in the world at large. And I think this whole area of, you know, the LGBTQ experiences is definitely one of those areas in the world and in the church. And for myself, I think for a long time, I saw there was this fear that my own experience of same-sex desires was an obstacle to mission. And I think a lot of people feel that way, you know, no matter what they experience, you know, on the LGBTQ spectrums, um, that this could maybe be an obstacle to mission or an obstacle to self-gift. But something that definitely sparked hope for me was when I did choose to be vulnerable in my, pos my ministry positions or with, with, with peers, with supervisors, um, when I did choose to be vulnerable about my experience of same-sex desires, I didn't encounter rejection. I encountered an affirmation of my abilities, an affirmation of my gifts, really an affirmation of my whole person, even in the midst of this experience. And I think that really sparked a lot of hope for me that mission in my own life with this experience was possible um, and is possible for others. You know, and I think ultimately there's just been so many experiences in my life of God's love for me, uh, a lot of personal conviction that he's with me, that God is good, that he desires good things for my life. And I think it's kind of impossible to quantify all of those moments over decades, but it's led me to this place where I just believe in my bones, believe deep in my gut that a, a good life is, is possible with Christ and with these experiences. You know, I think God is, God sparks hope. Uh, I think a lot of ways, I think one of the ways that God sparks hope for me for the future of Eden invitation is actually in remembrance of the past. You know, I think hope in the future can be kindled by remembrance of the past. You know, how God has been faithful to his promises helps me to trust that he will be again. And it's crazy to look back at documents from, you know, 2017 and to see that Eden Invitation has really done like nearly everything that we set out to do in 2017. We, we have a website with resources. We've done retreats. We've created local small groups. Um, we've done backpacking trips. You know, that was something I always like wanted to do in a ministry. We have a community that that's growing. We've been training volunteers, you know, everything we dreamed of in an attic in 2017 is happening. Like we're living in it now. And that, that just inspires me that like the dreams that God is kindling for us, even now, like new ideas, bigger ideas that he, it's possible for him to bring those to fruition and bring to fulfillment. You know, I also see a growing sense of mission within our community members of wanting to give back. You know, over 12% of our community members actually volunteer in some capacity, which is, I think, higher than a lot of places. And that's really exciting. And I think when I look outside of Eden Invitation, something that really sparks hope for me is I think there's a growing desire in the church, recognizing that these LGBTQ experiences are, are very real, um, not only in culture at large, but in people within the church. And I think there's a growing desire to, to, to do something about that, uh, to support people, to support organizations that are supporting people. And I think, I think that's really exciting.